The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. All right. Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap of Pro Trader webinar series. Uh, today we have Fausto Pugliese from uh, Cyber Trading University. Uh, yep, Fausto is the CEO of Cyber Trading University and uh, is one of those early uh, SOS bandits uh, back in the uh, uh, back in the 90s trading the uh, uh, Nasdaq stocks. Uh, and then uh, uh, semi-retired uh, uh, as a successful trader in his early 20s, Fausto developed his own trading school, Cyber Trading University. Uh, Fausto is also a 12-time champion of the Money Show Traders Challenge uh, and is known for his live trading events where he gets to prove how well his trading methods uh, work in real time. Uh, I need to go through the risk disclaimer here. Uh, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, and uh, if you're interested in Bookmap, here's some contact uh, information for you. Uh, our website at bookmap.com, um, uh, bookmap Twitter page at bookmap underscore pro, and support email here is support at bookmap.com. Uh, and then one more page here. Uh, if you're interested in reaching out to Fausto, here is his contact information, website, email, and a trial of the uh, Cyber Trading University, uh, as well as uh, special bookmap offers uh, that uh, you can get through Fausto. Okay, so now you don't need to copy all this down. I'm going to put it into the chat for you. Uh, just a moment here. Okay, and you'll have all of it here. There you go. And uh, I'll, I'll put it in a few more times as well throughout the, uh, 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 the, the webinar here. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm just going to turn it over to Fausto and, uh, and let him take it away. Thanks a lot, Bruce. Um, I just got to get access to uh, – there you go. Thanks a lot, Bruce. Pretty quick with that. Hold on a second, <laughs> everybody. And uh, I just need to see the questions so I can okay. see everybody's questions. Uh, yeah, hold on. Sorry about that. There you go. Perfect. All right. There we go. All right, guys. Uh, let me just get a quick uh, little chat. Uh, make sure everybody can hear me loud and clear. Just give me a chat in the uh, in the question box. All right. Good. 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 Thanks a lot, Charles. Austin. Robert, Dave, Peter. All right, let's get let's get the ball rolling. My God, what the hell is going on? <laughs> is this as I call the Corona Black Monday? Market was down 2,700 points. We are now on a little bit of a little bit of a rally. Some great, great uh, trades out there. Well, I want to kind of teach and educate you guys a little bit more about how to use the book map and how I utilize it and tell you my secret weapon for beating the best traders in any market conditions, market up, market down, everything. Now, like Bruce has mentioned to you, um, just going through just a really little quick little bio about Cyber Train University and tell you what we're going to learn. I'm going to talk about how to utilize the, the, the book map platform, which I like to call a level four version. Remember, there are four, three different levels. There's level one, which is a beginner, bid and ask. There's a level two, which you all hear about, which was great back in the 90s. Now it's outdated. Then you got level three, which I'm going to talk about today, which if you see me uh, on NASDAQ, I was on, I'm, a, I'm a regular guest on the NASDAQ show, and uh, I talk about you know, total view, which I like to call level three. And then you got the book map, which I like to call it the level four version. It kind of just sounds great. It's like the iPhone, right? And tells you exactly how to find these unbelievable iceberg orders, which I'm going to teach you exactly what it is. Now, um, and, you know, like I told you, how to compare the book map to all the other platforms. Now, just to kind of tell you a little bit about me, myself, and I want to know how we, I got hooked up with book map and, uh, you know, over the years. And then I'm going to educate you guys a little bit about how I use the platform and how great it is. Now, just kind of tell you a little bit about it. Um, first of all, I've been doing this for 25 years. I'm probably the oldest person you're going to meet in the industry of trading. I'm one of the original day traders that started back in 1995. So I've been through 
the worst of the worst market conditions. I've been through the internet bubble, which a lot of you probably were not involved in. I was in the financial crisis that you've never been involved in. I've been through 9-11 which probably some of you are not in. I've been now, now obviously we're all in on this one, which is the coronavirus uh, crash and people don't know what to do. But let me tell you what you're about to see and how I utilize Bookmap is unbelievable. Now, what's amazing about the Bookmap platform, I'm not here to sell you Bookmap, you probably already know a lot about it, but by being in business for 25 years, I just wanna tell you just a little bit about, about my history. I have every, Tom, Dick, and Harry that try to sell me their software, every single one of them. If I and 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 and, and really simple, Let, let's be honest with each other. How many indicators are out there, right? How many indicators? Oh, we, people come up to me and say, "Hey, Faust, what indicator do you use?" What? I don't use any indicators. Indicators do not work for day trading, okay? And Bookmap is not an indicator; it's a platform. And when I was introduced Bookmap. And someone told me about it. I said, ah, well, please give me a break. You know, another platform. I don't need to use this. You know, like it doesn't work that way. You follow the money. And then you have to understand. And, and everybody here is going to be introduced and be invited to my trading room. But I had um, some of my students which fell into Bookmap. They says, no, Fausto, this platform is exactly what you preach. This is what you do. Okay. And, um, and, and by using level three, you know, and then finding how book map, and I'm like, I looked at it, I'm like, holy crap, this does exactly what I do all day, every single day. So let me tell you this, guys. There's not a day that can go by that we cannot trade without book map, okay? And I'm gonna show you why, because I am actually an official day trader that you probably, some of you might call day traders, but I am an actual official day trader. Day trading is getting in and out over the uh, over the course of the day and i am what you also would be called a scalper a tape reader now a tape reader reads the tape which is what bookmap helps you to do and a scalper is what everyone needs to learn right now is getting in and out of positions immediately making your money just coming and going and you can't do that without the bookmap platform now um over the years ladies and gentlemen you know, trading has been done very well for me, and you obviously probably going to be hearing, um, you know, with this whole coronavirus. I was talking about this a month and a half ago before the mark, before this even took effect. How did I? You know, and and if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see I've been talking about this, and my Twitter. I've been talking about this for a while. I've been talking on Nasdaq. I spoke to the guys on Fast Money on CNBC about it. A lot of people blew it off and thought it was no big deal. You know, there are stocks out there like the Corona stocks that we traded, which, by the way, they're pretty much done right now. And then there are stocks that are moving now due to the market conditions, what we're trading right now. But the thing is this, you have to learn how to play the game. And it all starts by following the money. Let me just one last thing before I get into the, the training part of it. Just to let you know, guys, I was an ignorant 22 year old kid when I started. I'm 48 right now. I thought I knew how to trade because, you know, back then I took my Series 7 license. I was a broker. Finding out that the only people who make money is in the trading business. You are now in one of the most historical market conditions Then you probably won't be involved in the next 20, uh, 8 to 10 years down the road. They're going to have a lockdown. OK, they're going to have a quarantine here in, 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 in the U.S. Rumor is it next 24 to, uh, to 48 hours. There's no better business and no better job right now than you being here in a trading business. But to be successful and not lose this opportunity, you have to learn how to play the game. And that's why I'm so excited to be here today and talking to you guys how I use the Bookmap platform. Because if you're looking to learn how to day trade, you're in the. This is I'm going to show you exactly how it works. And let me tell you, there's no other platform that I'm more excited to use than the Bookmap platform. So let's talk about a stock called OXY. Okay? Does anybody know this stock OXY? Ever heard of it? Ever seen it? Ever heard? Can anybody just tell me? Now, I know we have some future traders in here. You know, we have some futures traders. I mean, there's an oil stock. Tim, you have. John, you heard of it. Okay, anyone else? 
was in the trading room this week and was uh, talking about it, Charles. Okay, good. All right. So anyway, let's talk about the OXY. I want to kind of talk a little bit about, like you could see over here, extremely volatile stock. Um, hold on, let me get my little pointer out here uh, so you guys can follow along with me. All right, so the stock literally went from like $20 all the way down, stopped at 14. You know, this is one day, popped, went to about 19 and came straight back down. Now, this is over the course of the week. Now, the thing when you're a day trader, the goal is you're just trying to make a day's pay, you know, and you're trying to get these, you know, these support levels and these resistance levels. So um, am I sharing the screen? Yes, I'm sharing it. You should be able to see it. If you don't see it, you should be able to log, log in and log back out. Okay. Yeah, no, sound, sound, sound and, and screen or visuals are good. Okay, good. All right. So the thing is this. How did OXY do this week? Why did it bounce at these support levels? Why did it uh, hit those resistance levels? Let's be all come to um, a conclusion and, and all be honest here. The way things go up and go down is supply and demand, period. End the conversation. There's no dispute about it. Supply and demand, okay? Now, why did OXY move up and, and go down so much? Buyers and sellers. That's it. Now, in the past, when I use NASDAQ total view, the problem with, or which I, I basically got this new connection going on with, uh, with uh, Bookmap, going to be linked to TradeStation with their matrix, which, by the way, is going to bring down your cost down a lot. But the thing, you know, but that's another topic down the road. The difference is, is that what made these stocks go up and go down? And the problem with the other platforms is they only show you what's called ECNs. Okay. Does anybody know what an ECN is? Just give me a quick yes or no. An ECN. Wow, you guys, some of you guys here don't even know what an ECN is. Okay, well, guess what? The the book map platform is predicated on what happens in an ECN. Now, just to let you know, not going to bore you about it, not going to teach you the history of ECNs, but ECNs, the abbreviation is Electronic Communication Network. I was actually one of the developers that worked with the exchanges like NASDAQ and New York that helped build the first ECN when it first came out. Um, if you go on our, if you go on our uh, YouTube channel and you look it up, you, you could, you know, like I said, I'm not going to spend an hour talking about it. But basically, the ECNs would allow you and I, in layman terms, to become market makers, to put bids and offers out there. Well, the way the book map works is that you're seeing all these ECNs aggregated into one platform, where when you're looking at like Nasdaq Total View, you could only see just their book. This is showing you all the books and it's aggregating them and it's got and, and the platform is highlighting it, which is obviously phenomenal. So let me just change the slide here. So anyway, talking about that OXY, the reason why it got tanked, because obviously oil got crushed, you know, through the, you know, through the coronavirus. Now, how do we know where to buy? How do we know where to short? All that good stuff. Well, the great thing about the book map and what I like to do, which is my one of my um, expertise, is I love to pre-market. Pre-market is one of the biggest, most valuable tools in trading. And with the book map platform, you could use it. Now, I start trading at 7.30 in the morning. I don't know what time you guys start. Yes, it is being recorded. <laughs> yes, it is. So and some people are like, is this being recorded? Don't worry about it, guys. I, I know it's going to be, I'm going to try to squeeze it as much as I can, which by the way, I want to just make one one comment to everybody. Um, please, please don't, don't misconstrue, but I can't teach you how to make money in an hour. Okay. So the good thing is you're going to be able to watch this recording and you're going to all be able to come and watch me trade live for one week using the, uh, using the book map platform. So you got a nice little bonus that comes along with that. But the getting back to pre-market, I'm a big pre-market guy. I start trading at 7.30 in the morning, two hours before the market opens up. And you have to understand there's things that are called program trading, there's after hour trading, you know, all this stuff that's trading in the market is all predicated on what happens during the market conditions. And pre-market is very key and the book map does that for you. So let's go look at OXY from Friday, okay? Now, I have a screenshot of the book map platform and you could see right here, what we're looking at a book map, and let me get my little pointer out here. 
is you got – when I first looked at this, I'm just going to tell you point blank, I was com completely lost. I'm like, oh, my God, this looks like – this looks worse than an indicator for crying out loud. How the hell you read this thing? Believe me, it's not as complicated as it seems. OK, once you start watching it trading, it's not that complicated. You don't need to look at everything. What you need to look at is certain things. And what we're going to look at is right here. If you notice what we're looking for as day traders, we're looking at these big red um, bars right here. And what's, what, what strikes me first when you look at these bars, these are called the, 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 um, the heat bars, I would like to call it. OK, so the, let's call this the heat map. All right. And the way the heat map works is that where there's more buyers, you know, where there's more orders, not buyers. Let's just say not buyers, orders. Where there's more orders, the map gets redder. Where there's less orders, you it gets darker, which you see where you get the blacks and the blues. I mean, the blues mean there's people there, but not as much as the darker red sections. Now, as a professional trader, the first thing you look at is, you know, as a day trader, we're looking, you know, it's all about, and this is where people get themselves in trouble, excuse me, bouncing around, but where to place the order, okay? Where do I get in and where do I get out? One problem with traders is they don't have patience. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, do I buy now? Do I buy? You know, listen, there's no rush. Being a good trader, you have to be patient. You don't have to force and buy something. Let the stock come to you. And you know what? If it passes it, that's okay too. Then you could buy it. But there's no there's no reason to buy something in between a floor and ceiling. It's nice to buy, you know, right at the floor and sell at the ceiling. So looking at this thing, you could see right here where the red starts, and you see my little red dot, that there's a big seller right here at $14.48 for 16,000 shares. Now you can see there are sellers at 400, 300, and the colors is not that dark. The way the book map works is that there's a big, big order out there. And that's why you're getting you know, resistance levels. And please guys, I get, I get a kick out of this. I get people tell me, oh yeah, yeah, no, that's a triple top, you know, double top. If, could you forget about these double double tops and triple bottoms for right now? I hate when people talk about um, I first tell people, what does that mean? What does that really mean? I tell you what it really means in Fausto language, what I teach you. There's a lot of orders out there. So, you know, you could sit there and hear the analyze and everything you want. Let's just look at the colors. And now, if you notice, there's another big uh, uh, heat bar right here at $13, at 16 So you can see where the big orders. Now, yeah, obviously you're getting some more around here and here, and they're disappearing. We'll talk about that as we move on. So let me change the slide here. So hopefully everybody's on the same page. I don't want to lose anybody. All right. So now let's look at the NASDAQ book viewer. Now, has any of you guys um, watched me on NASDAQ TV show? Have any, any of you guys ever watched me on the NASDAQ um Steve, David, you did? Okay. Jericho, you had. Peter, you saw the recording? Okay, good. Um, actually, if you go to our homepage or our website, you could. we have a recording of it. You can watch it. But um, just to tell you a little bit about NASDAQ, NASDAQ, from what I know, never invited any educational school on their TV uh, program ever, okay? Uh, Listen, they have a strict compliance department. For having me on, believe me, you know, was not easy for them. But the reason why they have Fausto on there is because what I preach is what they want you to learn. What you see, the exchanges, uh, the reason why ECNs were born back in the in the in the mid and late '90s is because just to tell you a little history. Exchanges didn't like brokerage firms um, having a, a monopoly on the market. You see, whatever they buy and sell, you always had to deal with the mar with the brokerage firms, and that's why these ECNs came out. So this right here, the book viewer, which is Nasdaq's ECN, you're basically seeing all the orders that are trading on the Nasdaq market. Now, what's nice about the book map, you're getting not just NASDAQ, you're getting ARCA, you get you get you can get um, EDGX, there's other ECNs out there. But what the reason why I'm trying to point this out is the reason why I'm focusing on NASDAQ is I want to show you the difference that 
what little you see on Book Viewer, which is obviously the same content, but you're not seeing all the orders out there in the whole world. You're only seeing one book where the book map is showing you multiple books and it's aggregating those orders. So right here, if you'll notice, the support levels we're looking at, uh, we're going to share it right here. I'm going to change the slide. And you'll notice right here that the book map is showing you there are 16,000 share buyers out there at 13, but NASDAQ is only showing you 12 different orders of 2,000 at 13. So you'll notice, wait, I don't make a sense. Why is there so many here than here? Because NASDAQ is only showing you what's on NASDAQ. NASDAQ's not showing you like book map is showing you, which is which is EDGX, BATS, you know, ARCA, you know, um, uh, BXY, there, there are other ECNs out there. So you might look at it and says, ah, you know, 2,800, that sounds like a lot, but you know what? 16,000 sounds like a hell of a lot. All right. Uh, the link to NASDAQ, you know, I'll just give it to you. I'll show you right now. Actually, you don't have to go anywhere. Um, if you want to watch that video, Just give it to you right now. Hold on. Uh, right on Cybertrain University's website. Oops. Uh, and right here, this is the latest version of the video right there on the home site. All right. Let's give you the link to everybody. And uh, Bruce could put that in there for you too again. All right. Now, let's get back to this slide. So, okay, so what exactly is your game plan? Because that is what trading is all about. It's having a game plan, all right? First, you got to follow the trend. Second, you got to buy above resistance and short under support. That is really much the breakdown when it comes to trading. It's all about having a game plan. How do I know this? Because I was trained by the best traders in the world living here in New York, and they all told me the same thing. Fausto, it doesn't matter what you think. You follow the damn money, period. Once, and I'm, t I'm warning you uh, traders right now, once you think you know something about the market, you're gonna lose all your money. You have to follow the money. Now, let's get back to the book map. Now you'll notice right here, I zoomed in, which is great. And by the way, we're gonna be showcasing the book map all week in our, in our trading room, which is by the way, and we, we showcase it there all the time. And we'll even post links of what we see, where to get in, where to get out. And every single one of you guys are gonna be invited to it, all right? Just wanna kind of reiterate and remind people because there's people logging in as we're doing this and wanna let everybody know, I'm gonna show everybody this in real live market conditions. Now getting back to here, look at the red bar here. We zoomed in and you could see the stocks at $13.37 uh, uh, and the stock came straight down and you could see there's a 25,000 share buyer right here at 13. Now listen, why 13? Why so much there? I'm not here to, we'll talk, we'll, I'll, I'll educate you that in my trading room. But as of right now, just keeping it layman terms, that's a pretty damn big buyer, okay? All right, now, this is where things get interesting. We could break support levels all the time, right? Support levels get broken, right? Well, the thing is this, how do we know where to get in, where to get out? You have to follow the money. You have to follow the money. And by looking over here on the book map, you'll notice, which is pretty pretty cool and pretty unique, you'll see that there's these, what, these balls. You see these little, um, these, little, uh, these little balls right there and they get smaller and bigger. We're gonna talk a little bit about that. But you'll notice that the, the, the bar died right here at 932. Nine, uh, and then all of a sudden, there's no more buyers. If you notice here on the right on the CVP, this is another pretty cool tool, which we'll talk about in the trading room more and more. But this actually shows you, you know, green and red, which actually shows you orders that got executed. Okay. It's a little bit different than what you see in the COB, which actually shows you orders out there. One's showing you executed orders and it, and it records over the course of the day. The other one actually shows you what's out there. You'll notice that there's no more buyers out there at 13 because the guy got executed. Now you think about this for a second. Let me teach you layman terms. Traders, when you break through a floor, 
right? Which is your support. Where's the next floor? All the way down, right? Down to the next floor. So like it or not, hope all you want. If you don't have those buyers anymore, which got executed, it's time to move on because you could see those orders did get executed. The, 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 the ball is red and now we're down to 2880. So if we short on the 13, where's the next support level? Well, you got to go back and look at the book map. And as we look at the book map, you'll notice that's the volume that was taken off and you got to just keep it looking down and you'll see now we're starting to get a couple of oranges here and we're getting a couple of orders out there. Unfortunately, that's not really the buyers. The buyers are not here. We got to we have to zoom out further and you'll notice the real buyers at 12. Now look look how the look how things change all of a sudden. Look how it's it's almost like black and white. Resistance, red bar at 14. Support here at 12. So the thing is this, like it all you want, hope all you want. This stock is going to 12 with you or without you. And it's just not the buyer at 12 for 29,000 shares. There's another buyer of 17, 18,000 at 1196. There's a lot of buyers out there. Okay. And you could see here on the CVP, you could see that it's that there's a lot of trades going on right there, but there's no one out there anymore. The real orders are right here at 12. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Hope all you want, like it or not, went exactly to 12. So as a professional trader, our game plan is looking to buy it right at 12. I know you might love it at 12.50, but you got to be drooling at $12. Why? You got to remember something. And this is what my mentor has always taught me. This is Fausto. You're thousand shares 500 shares. i don't know what you're trading guys it's not going to change the market it's that guy out there that's buying those big orders how many of you guys actually buy thirty thousand shares of a 12 dollar stock how many of you guys put that in an idea come on not that many of you you know that and i know that all right so why not follow the money the book map shows it to you and let me tell you when i saw this i'm like holy crap this system really does work. It's exactly what I teach my traders every day. And it just makes things easier for us to have that game plan. Now, will OXY continue to break support levels at $12? That is a $64,000 question. Well, unfortunately for the stock, OXY, that buyer got executed so you think about this for a second here you are and you're looking at every tom dick and harry indicator every rsi every bolger band every macd every guy who invented a mathematician that invented a crystal ball out there is not the same as this platform these guys got executed so like it all you want the, 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 the 200 moving average costs with the MACD, and then we had five candles, uh, candlesticks on the red. I, listen, you can analyze all you want. As a professional trader, you have no time to think. You have to react. Because every moment that you think about it and start analyzing, you're going to get yourself in big trouble. Remember, listen, if you're an investor or swing, a long-term swing trade, it's one thing. But when you're an active day trader, especially in today's volatile markets, what's going on right now with the coronavirus and, and the market down almost 10,000 points, you damn well know how to react because people are still trying to pick the bottom and they would pick in the bottom since two weeks from now. And how do you think that worked out from when, when the Dow was at 46, uh, 40, 26,000 and now we've almost, we're almost at 20,000? Not looking too good. You know any people today sold this morning? But not here at CyberTrade University. How do we know that? Following the book map. Um, Charles says that he's got a dumb question. First of all, Do Charles, there's no dumb question uh, when it comes when you got money on the line. But how do you know if these big red lines isn't more sellers? Well, the red line 
If you're above the red line, that's the bid. That's a buyer. If you're below the line, up on top, that is resistance levels. That's a seller. Okay? So that's why when you're looking at a level two, you got the bid side, you got the sell side. Depending on if you're above it or below it, that's your support and resistance levels. Hopefully that, and by the way, Charles, I'll get into more detail about that when you come into trading room. By the way, it's just to let you guys know, it is very easy to kind of see things when you got a nice little screenshot. But for some of us, you know, when you're actually trading in the market and this thing's moving, it's a totally different ball game. But you got to know how to react to this as it's moving on. Now, let's get back to short covering under $12, support builds on the bid. Now you're starting to notice the stock actually starting to go up. And how's that going up? Well, obviously, you got more green bowls that are happening. You can see that the 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 CV, uh, CVP means that there's more buyers and uh, more buy transactions happen. You know, because the other thing that I always get, and I always get questioned on this, and I love this question because this is what separates us from uh, uh, tr other traders. I always get people always ask me, and they says, "Oh, how do you know these are real orders and fake orders?" I says, well, I don't know. Where, who, would you, could you please tell me what brokerage firm lets you put fake orders out there? I don't know any too many of them out there. But when it comes to this, the book map will tell you by looking at the CVP if that's a if that's a cancel order or an executed order. Okay, that's the power of the book map platform. Now looking at it, getting back to buyers now you notice how the stock is starting to go up and now you're going to start to see like orders are starting to come in here like you see there's a buyer at twelve dollars see how the bar starting to build up he was there at 938 now he's back hold on keep forgetting to bring my little dot here you see him right there and you see him right there he was gone here but now he came back and you got twelve thousand shares out there guess what stock's starting to go up that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call an iceberg order, okay? Anyone ever heard of that term, that, that phrase, iceberg? Anybody heard of an iceberg order? David, Tim, you have? Where'd you guys hear of it? Where'd you hear iceberg orders? Peter says, my class. Anyone else? Book map? Okay. Somebody else's uh, trading room? All right, so just to let you know, I actually came up with the word iceberg orders. So if you want to know where that money, that, that word generated from, um, I made up that word about 20 years ago. And I'll tell you how it, it came, how it happened. Uh, you guys ever watched the movie The Titanic? Very sad story. Highly recommend you to watch it. Very upsetting. But anyway, uh, remember the Titanic crashed into an iceberg? The reason why it crashed, because, the, you know, this is supposed to be the unsinkable ship. They were so focused on top of the water, they didn't realize it's what's on the bottom of the water. The iceberg on top is nothing. It's what's on the bottom. And that obviously, you know, sunk that ship. Well, as a trader, most people are looking what's on top of the water, uh, you know, looking at what's what, what everything else is doing. They're looking at the past. They're not looking at the future. And iceberg orders are big block orders that we're looking for. And if you don't have that next level platform, then guess what? That's where you're gonna. That's where you're gonna. Um, where you're gonna sink. So that's where that came about. All right, let's get back to the lesson. So where is OXY moving up to now? So now the stock is going up. Once again, you always need a game plan. Well, you see the stock is trending up. You see in bars starting to build up. You see buyers starting to come in. The trend is going higher. You see transactions over the CVP means orders are getting done. You're getting the green over there. And the key is where to sell. And right up here at 1370 looks like the next resistance. Now, you know what? That's a pretty substantial move right there. That is a, you know, like, could you imagine buying at 12 and getting out 1370? Well, you know what? When you don't have any buy sellers at 1320, very little at 1295 whatever going on and on it's going to go up there but there's one thing you got to be concerned about there's nobody there now but they were there before and you'll notice at 13 
there, uh, this is where the CVP comes into, uh, comes into play. You might see resistance levels there, but I just want you to know that there were a lot of transactions that did take place at $13. So this is where people get themselves in trouble with a book map and looking at it. Sometimes the, the colors don't always, uh, will always come to fruition uh, as much as they will because the orders are out there. But remember, there are a lot of transactions that took place. So you might encounter to deal with those people that own the stock at that price. And not only that, but also at 1270. Well, if you look right here, guess what? The stock went up, never went up to that resistance levels that we saw at 14, and then you could see it now starting to build resistance levels. Orders started coming in right around $13, and it's having now it's starting to trade within that range of 13 uh, to, to 1270. Now, this is something that I'm getting a little bit more advanced for some of you. I don't know. We have all different types of traders in here. We got beginners and advanced. But now you're, not, now you're starting to see a little bit more of a different strategy where, wow, it makes perfect sense. A lot of buys on the bid, a lot of sells on the offer. You buy there, you sell here. What's, what's so hard to figure out? Well, there's also other strategies that come into play, and that's what you get with the book map, which I was completely you know, shocked and sold on. And that's why we use it every day in the trading room, because it's not just seeing the buyers and sellers. It's also seeing orders that were executed and if they're going to come out there, which you could see they just did at 1030. So what is your game plan now, everyone's saying? Well, very simple. Got to get out before that 13. And then now you're starting to see the red the red bar starting to come in. You're starting to see the heat coming in. And not only that, now you can see you're trading in a range of 1305 to 1250. Now, another big thing I didn't mention to you, do you notice the time right now is about 1030 to about 11? Do you notice at 930 we had that big swing from like 1385 uh, all the way down to like 1170 back up? Us as professional day traders, we're usually done by 1030. The volatility usually dies out around that time. So I don't know if you guys know that. That's pretty much where the market usually dies. We're usually done. And that's why it's 11 o'clock. That's why we're doing the meeting right now. If you notice the Dow Jones um, right now, I mean, we've been doing pretty well right now. But like after, I don't know, after 11 o'clock, we've pretty much been hovering right around this price range because a lot of the action happened already. Now, just getting back to continuing with that, what happened to that order at 13. Now, look what happened. It came right back down to 1150 where the next biggest orders are which you could see these guys have been out there since all morning and then the next biggest buyers are at eleven dollars you see 13 uh 39,000. and you got to remember guys just because you see these buyers out there they can get executed they can get executed and that's what the balls are all about and that's what the the uh the bars are all about now is anybody, I know I've been talking for a while and I got to take just a quick little sip of my coffee, but does anybody have any questions so far? Uh, what's the translation for the CDP and COB? You know, um, Bruce would tell you the, the abbreviation of it. Yeah, it's a chart range volume profile is uh, CVP and uh, COB is current order book. Current order book, okay. Can people create orders and spoof and cancel the last minute? Does that happen often? Of course they do. Of course they do. And that's the power and beauty of seeing this, that you can see that by seeing those orders out there on the COB and seeing how they, and they're getting executed. Absolutely. And by the way, I want to point this out. A lot of people out there will kind of use that against me and say, oh, you know, they're a bunch of liars and cheat. You know what I tell everybody? What the hell are you doing in this business in the first place? If you really feel that that people are liars and crooks and thieves, what are you doing in this business? The only reason why people, you know, feel that way, because number one, they're just angry and they're losing. And two, no one ever really taught them how to trade to play the game. That's really the reason why, okay? Uh, 
So the bull is swinging liquidity. Yes. Well, those are the transactions to kind of tell you. And the bigger the bull, the more volume and the more uh, executions happening with that moment in time. Now, getting back to the stock, it's at 11 o'clock. Boom. Stock hits those big buyers out there. And sure enough, we go 1150 up to about 1270. So you could see as this is like a day trader's dream. You see the orders getting executed. You see them selling it. You see them buying it. It's just like it's 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 never ending. Go beyond the chart and follow the smart money guys. Bring up the chart right here. Now, when you're looking at a basic, and not, you know, now we're not even looking at the book map. Now we're just looking at the chart. Now it makes perfect sense why do you where you see buyers and sellers. And unfortunately, the problem with the chart. You're not seeing these buyers. You're not seeing these sellers. You're just seeing colors. You're seeing red and green, and you know, and and that, and, and that's what um, causes people to always be chasing. Remember, you don't want to be, you know, um, a leader. It's okay to be a follower, and a follower is following the money. But if you're going to start slapping all these ridiculous indicators, you know what? That might work for, you know, a, a swing trader investor, but it damn well doesn't work for a day trader. It's all about having a game plan and predicting the future. And that is the power of what we do here at CyberTrain University using the book map. Like I told you, it's definitely confusing, but when someone explains to it and you see it, all day long, it just makes perfect sense. And like I mentioned earlier, and I'll repeat it again, I worked, I worked for some of the biggest trading firms in the world. I've been showcased in some of the biggest uh, brokerage firms in the world. TradeStation, Tastyworks, Schwab, E-Trade, Metastock, NASDAQ, TD Ameritrade. Cybertrain University has been endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. Why? Because these brokerage firms know that if you're if they get an educated client, you're going to be their student, their, their customer forever. They've been watching me. They've seen me over the years. They see my staff, my instructors, everything. The way I trade and the way my instructors teach my students is exactly how Wall Street trades. We follow the money. I'm going to bring over one stock really quick right here. I want to show you something. I'm going to bring the real market. Let's look at Royal Caribbean right now. Okay. Right now, what you're looking at is the real live market conditions. Look how Royal Caribbean went from $33.81, came to this big buyer right here at, uh, at 33. Actually, he just left. It was a bigger buyer. It was actually, he, went, he actually moved pretty quickly. But it was a bigger buyer out there. Look at this guy from 11.37 to 10 minutes later, look how long this guy's been out there. Major, major support levels at 33. I mean, do, do I need to explain any more than that? What did the stock end up doing? It hit the, it, it came right close to that support levels and shot right back up. You just have to follow the money. You just have to follow the money. Um, all right, so man, could you believe 45 minutes already went by so already? That is unbelievable. Time flies. So, um, so basically, fellow traders, um, that is the style that we teach at Cybertrain University. How did I learn this style? I did not invent it. This is how market makers on Wall Street trade. This is how I, they've been trained. This is how when you could, when you're a professional trader and you go work for any of the big brokerage firms, this is what they do. You have to understand something. You are right now in one of the greatest market um, situations uh, in in the history. The volatility that you have. I mean, guys, the market was down 2,700 points. That's more than the 1927 crash. How do you not want to be in this business? 
What are you going to do when you get locked up at home? They're going to do, they're going to do a lockdown. What are you going to do? There's no better position you, to do is then trade. This is like, you know, this is what you train for. This is what you get paid for. But you got to surround yourself with great traders. And you got to know how to play the game and you got to know how to use the right tools. Um, could you look at the spies? I actually, I'm not trading the spies, Josh. I'm more or less trading the individual stocks. And the reason why I don't trade those market conditions, because there's just too much volume, too much action. And you know what? It's all about less risk, uh, better reward. You know what I mean? It's all about making money. Now, would any of you guys would like to see this live? In, in the trading room, in the market conditions, in our professional trading room? Because let me tell you something. I didn't know this stuff actually really even existed until I was actually trained and actually walked in a, date, in, in a firm and they showed it to me live. Now, obviously, Bookmap has not been around that long, but I, this looks no different to me than an internet machine. That's basically what it comes in. But, but what I want to do right now, guys, is I want to invite all of you, um, because I'm out of time right now, and I want to obviously get back to the market, because this is like, you know, I, I rarely would ever do an event on a day like today. But you know what? I'm looking to recruit people that I could trade with, because let me tell you what the ultimate goal here at Cybertrain University. Our goal right here is I'm looking to train people how to make money to do this. I want to train you how to use Bookmap. I'm, I'm looking for people that want to make money together because that's how we make money it's not about selling you some training course and say hey you know what take my course and here's a you know you know a fifty thousand dollars and you know go figure it on your own no the way you make money guys now it's a lot of work to train somebody but it's all about surrounding yourself with great traders that are successful and knowing how to use the right tools and let me tell you there are only a certain amount of tools that we use that are in our toolbox that will trade. And you have, you're actually looking at one of them right now. So this is what I'm asking all of you guys to do. Um, I'm asking you guys to pay a little application fee, okay? Uh, $9. Now I'm not here to sell it. Listen, I'm not looking to, I'm not a salesman. Maybe, maybe I, I just love, the only reason why I'd be called a salesman because I, I believe in what I teach. But I'm looking for real people that want to learn and see this live in the market for a week. Okay. And, you know, uh, we're not, I'm not looking for free people. And I don't think anybody here wants free stuff. You know, last time I went to a free concert, I think I left within the first five minutes, you know, because I think my wife was going to get, was, get, was getting abused and just, uh, you know, I just, it's, listen, there's nothing free in trading. Okay. Um, you just want a good deal. And for $9, all I'm asking for you is to let me know that you're a real person so we know exactly who you are, so we can qualify you because you, we'd rather talk to you than go into the mark conditions and blowing up your account. And this is what you're going to get for $9. You're going to watch us use Bookmap all week in our trading room and how we're trading today's volatile markets. Let me tell you something. There is no better time to be in than now with what's going on with the coronavirus. You're going to get a crash course on day trading. You're going to have access to talk to a real professional uh, education advisor that's going, to, that's going to walk you through the trading room. Um, you're going to get hundreds of hours of recordings. All this for $9. And the reason why it's so damn cheap, listen, we don't make money at $9. I'm looking to find people if anybody here really wants to learn how to trade. Okay? But I'm not looking for free people. You know, so if you want to go on YouTube, you want to bash me and say, oh, this was a sales to I don't, you could go ahead and knock yourself out. I don't know why people make a big deal for $9, okay? But to do this is a lot of work. And I'm looking for serious traders once again. And guess what? As a bonus, this is what I'll do. If you do register right now, when's the last time you ever spoke to the owner? Well, I'm willing to talk to anyone here. And let me tell you this. Look at me as being your doctor. Let me just tell you this. It's not for everybody. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Not, a, not everybody's going to be able to trade. And I'll be, I'll be the first one to tell you if it's worth your time. But why don't, instead of going out there and trying to pick the bottom of the market, why don't you see and let us talk to you. Let's talk about it. And then you go from there. But there's nothing to be scared about. So if you want to register, guys, and um, you want to do the trial, I'm going to stick around and answer some questions. All you have to do is just click on this link right here. and um, 
and we'll get you registered, pay the nine dollars. And, uh, and and another thing, people ask me, when do I start? My God, are you kidding me? I would start now. <laughs> they're like, like I start on Monday, I got school. Listen, they're gonna shut down the United States of America. What are you gonna do at home? This is like you this is like you're born for this right now. Take the opportunity. Know what it's like to day trade because some of you are trying to think, do I swing trade? Do I buy it now? Listen, if you want to be a good swing trader or an investor, you damn well better be a good day trader first. All right. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, I just want to answer some questions. And um, I got about a little less than uh, five minutes. And then I want to get back to the market. Now, um, by the way, just kind of want to bring this up to you and just show this to you. Remember we saw Royal Caribbean at $13? I mean, at, at, at 33 Do you notice what it did? hit 33 and shot right back up to 33.70. And guess what? You see the, this seller here at 33.22 and 33.50, they got executed. You know what? Not too shabby, you bought a thousand shares of that stock. You sell it right now at 34, maybe a little bit higher, that's with the next resistance. You just made yourself a thousand bucks, do that every day, there's your quarter million dollars. You know what? You can tell, you, you can tell your, your boss, you can take it and shove it. I'll do this all day long. That is using the book map, and that is being a, a professional trader at Cyber Trade University. Uh, question, Mr. Puglisi, uh, uh, I want to thank you for your staff and helping get a book. Oh, okay, so that was towards uh, to Bruce. Okay, uh, what exactly do you prefer the market trading ordinary hours? Well, Peter, listen, I only trade the first hour and the last hour, but in today's market conditions, um, I would trade all day, but I would probably take a break right now and see what happens around two o'clock. A lot of the action already kicked in. All right. Uh, what do you expect uh, at RR? I don't, yeah, could you be more specific about that? I think risk reward. Oh, ri was your risk reward? <laughs> there you go. Uh, what did you expect? Well, that's a great question, and the question is, and the question is is to you. How much do you want to make a year? Now, the average day trader makes about a quarter million dollars. We average, we focus, try to make a dollar a day. OK, on a thousand shares. So that's really pretty much what we focus on. Uh, some people will be happy just making a hundred thousand. But you know what? I tell I tell everybody this. Don't count my money. All right. You know, I, I maybe when I was like 24, I used to brag how much money I was up. But I just feel like it's like an ego thing, you know, where people are like, oh, look, I made three thousand dollars. You know what? If you're a beginner trader, how do you feel stepping in 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 a in a room with like a a guy that's making that much money? Like like I don't know. It's like I, I can't be hanging out with the high rollers. What th you'll notice in the trading room uh, when you get in there, you'll see how people we just t we just tell people we're up in points, so we're not trying to discourage people. Uh, well, regarding listen, Angel Angela. Regarding about the training part of it and, and what we charge, that's the least of your problems right now, okay? If you're looking to make a quarter million dollars, $100,000, you know, to pay for something like that, to me, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than going to college. So, but the thing is this, we're not asking for that. I'm asking for $9, okay? What do you have to lose? If I show you how to make $1,000 a day, is it a problem to pay, you know, to pay that? I don't think so. And you know what? We do something totally different than anyone in the history that trades in a market. And let me tell you what we do. If you don't make money, don't pay us. I, honestly, I really don't need the money. The way I make money is this. If you can make, if I could teach you how to make $100,000, I'll probably make 10, 20,000 in your call outs. I'm looking for people that can give good content, know how to play the game, use the book map in trading. That's what I'm looking for. Okay? That's what, that's what it comes down to it. Um, you have a, a great staff and Josh and Peter said, thank you very much. And you know what, Peter, and this goes for everybody. That's, I think that's part of the game, you know, and being surrounded yourself with a good company, you know, you got to have a good staff. And one thing you'll notice, uh, when you come to cyber train university, one of the biggest things I really stress on is customer service. And I, I just want to point out to everybody, how discouraging is that you call someplace and nobody answers the phone? Right. You go there. Nobody calls. You don't want to talk to. They give you a phone number. They don't look at you. It's just, you know, this is your life. Right. You, 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 
you actually are doing this as a career and you have one of the greatest opportunities out there in the mark conditions you can you that you're not going to see this probably in the next eight to ten years why not go out there and capitalize but to capitalize it you got to learn how to trade and not only that you have to surround yourself with good traders my father always taught me a very valuable lesson i know everyone here has uh you know probably has their own theory on it but my father always taught me says son you hang out with troublemakers you're going to be a troublemaker okay not that you're a troublemaker it's just you know what you're going to be in the wrong place in the wrong time and like he goes and my dad always said so what do you want to be i says dad you work so hard i want to be rich he goes you want to, know how to be rich son you hang out with rich people that's how you become rich you hang out you know and just like trading so I like so he said so it made sense what do you love to do? I say, I love trading. It's a great job. You can come and go whenever you please. You could do it for the rest of it. It's never going out of business. How do you do that? You hang out with successful traders. Let me go back to Royal Caribbean. Do I have to say anything more? Remember, we just we just finished up. What happened? We came right to the 3420. If you didn't take a profit, guess what? You just lost that thousand dollar profit. Came right to that ceiling, and now it's going right back down to that buyer 33. It's all about following the money, fellow traders. Uh, a couple of questions here. Um, Ad book map and the data fee can see me the price of the stock. Well, the good thing about this, David, is that um, you know I, I actually connected a book map with a trade station, and the fees are going to drop down a lot. You know, but if you can get their their fees too. All right. Uh, and do you make call outs in your trades live in the trading room? Austin, let me let me tell you something really quick. First of all, um, I don't know if you guys did you guys hear what happened to to, um, to online trading academy? Anybody here an online trading academy uh, customer? Uh, okay. So let me tell you about trading. I've seen some of the big biggest educational schools. Um, in the world get shut down and go out of business all right first of all it's illegal for me to say that um, unless you're registered all right now if you're looking for someone to make call outs you're I'm not I'm not your guy you know what my guy is my job is not to teach you what to buy and sell um, my, my job is, my job is not to teach how to make money my job is to teach how to stop losing it Okay, that's what I was trained. The winners take care of themselves. It's the losers you got to focus on. And if you don't know how to use the proper tools, like in the book map and follow the market makers and knowing, you know, where the bottom is, you're going to blow up your account. And the only way you know that is you got to know how to get how to get in and out of positions and you got to surround yourself with great traders. So, you know, and, and, and you know what I'm telling I'm warning you right now. Go read the report, what just happened, Online Trading Academy. And by the way, I feel bad because that doesn't look good for the industry. That's actually, you know, a terrible thing that happened with Online Trading Academy. But you know what? They they made their own bed. You know what I mean? When you don't follow the rules, it's just a matter of time when things like that happen. And um, But the thing is this. You come into my trading room, you're going to watch the other traders. Watch how they use book map. And we post the book map. Listen to them. Don't look at me. And then, then you'll then you'll know why you know I've been I've been around for 25 years and have been showcased and be endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. Which, by the way, just to point that out, um, that is something that is very critical to anyone here. If you're looking for a good educational school, I know a lot of you guys are not going to register and do the nine dollar trial, and I'm not going to hold you up against. That. I really don't care. Uh, it's, I mean, it's your money, and it's just, maybe I'm not the right fit, or you don't like the way I sound, or whatever it is. I don't know, whatever it may be, or maybe you're not a day trader. But I want to give everybody a little advice. Brokerage firms have a very big compliance department, so you want to make sure that um, you, you know that they're being endorsed by brokerage firms. Uh, so I thought to referring to CTU and not the online trade. Okay, you're more than welcome. Sorry about that. That's fine, Charles. Uh, just a couple of shout outs really quick. Um, just want to just to kind of thank a couple of people here because I, I am getting a bunch of registrants. Um, first of all, Josh Parker from Calgary, Alberta. Welcome aboard to the team. Uh, Rockamish, I'm sorry, I probably mangled that from Santa, Santa Clara, California. You just got your registration. Uh, Chris, uh, Christos from 
New York, got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, David, got your registration from Hawaii. All right. What time is it there in Hawaii? So, guys, um, just to let you know, when you register, just you're gonna, you're all gonna have an education advisor. You're all gonna talk. They're all gonna walk you through. They're not gonna sell you anything. Don't worry about it. It's 12 o'clock right now, there, David. Okay. Um, we just want you to know when you come into the trading room, how we're gonna use the book map, how, what videos to watch, and what to look for. Because I'm warning you, you're gonna get into the room and you're gonna be shocked. You think you know something about trading? You're gonna get in here and you'll be like, damn, this is too fast, wherever it is. And it's not. Just gotta know that now you're gonna see the real truth about it. Okay. All right, guys. So it's um. So anyway, it's 12 o'clock. I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get back to my trading room and uh, listen. I like to thank Bookmap for having me here again. And honestly, it's not an honor; it's a privilege to be here. Uh, you know, it's it's a great platform, but you got to know how to use it. You got to know how to use it. And you know what? Not to not to say to go out there and buy it. It's 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 not a you know it's it, it's not expensive, but it's not cheap. But you know what? Why not watch professionals how they use it in the real market conditions? That is the most important thing you have to do. Now, Bookmap's got a lot of great presenters that are coming on this week. They're showcasing a bunch of them. I recommend you go listen to every one of them. And also, you should log in so you could chat back and ask the questions. I'm not a big fan of recordings uh, unless you actually watch live for the first time. Make an effort. Make sure you're there. Listen to all of them sample everybody's little thing and then you'll know why we were such big fans of the platform but like i told you i am not a fan of any software out there i i get pressured all the time but i could tell you this i was trying to develop a platform like theirs and now i don't have to because now i have it in book map now watch this how we use it in today's mark conditions guys thank you so much for being here bruce you've been fabulous you've been great thanks for having me guys be safe be careful this coronavirus, you know, I just want to kind of just tell everybody that uh, is very, very serious out there. I don't think people realize how serious it is um, until they actually shut down the government. I know some family members that live in Italy and uh, they told me it's really, really bad. This could be something we could lock us down for almost night uh, to 60, uh, 30, 30 days. Could be locked in your house and there's no better thing to do right now than trade this market if that happens. So what else we're going to do? Thanks, everybody. Good luck today and uh, be safe. All right. Yep. Thanks, Nelson. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for coming.